Um, I'm Alana Schatz, and I'm the founding director of Fair Trade Judaica, and we're a nonprofit based in the San Francisco Bay Area, building a fair trade movement in the Jewish community because fair trade principles and Jewish values totally overlap, and it informs a Jewish way of making consumer choices. So we do outreach and education in the Jewish community nationally. We are working with fair trade artisan groups around the world to create new Judaica products. And we're helping get those products into the hands of Jewish consumers by going to fairs and getting them into synagogue and Judaica shops around the country. So this is a Toriyad. It's one of our newest products. I was approached by a local rabbi who wanted to shift and buy fair trade bar and bar projects for his students. And we are members of the Fair Trade Federation, which is the umbrella organization in the United States of Fair Trade Organizations. And I sent a, list, a notice out to the e wholesale e-list and told people what we were looking for. Describe what a Toriyad is, how it's used, the dimensions and all of that. And a half hour later, I got an email from a woman who works with artisans in Bali. And this was handcrafted by an artisan who's been doing woodworking for 25 years. It's exquisite. Like you can see the nails, the amount of detail on it. And part of what fair trade is about is that the artisans are paid well and they're respected and they have a lot of pride in the quality of their work. So BAB and the Pro Bono program have been really helpful to us. We worked with two other people. First, we worked with Eric Sater, who was fabulous in meeting with us twice about clarifying our business plan. And we made some huge shifts as a result of those two conversations. And Alina Beckerman is working with us now on our marketing plan, and she's a gem to work with. So we're in the beginning, kind of middle of it. So our board is at an exciting phase. We've integrated in three brand new board members in the last several months, and we wanted to do our first board retreat, um, both to build cohesion and integrate new members and to reinvigorate the board around their mission and their roles and responsibilities and to create a deeper sense of shared leadership between staff and board, and I contacted Bab about helping us find someone. It was fabulous. We had several planning meetings with her, both myself and Andy Greenberg, who was our chair, and we identified where we were with the board and what we thought we wanted to accomplish, and then we sent a survey out to the board to get their information to help plan what the retreat would look like, and we made some changes because of the responses we received. Um, we put together an agenda for the meeting and then Rosalind facilitated an all-day retreat and the results were so much more than we could have expected. It was an absolutely fabulous experience and there is no way that we could have done this without Rosalind's help. It really required a skilled facilitator and someone who knows how boards and staff are supposed to work and relate to each other. Yeah. The pro bono consulting program has been of immense value to us not only bringing us people who have expertise in particular areas like marketing or business development or board relations, but also people who are connected to the Jewish community and understand how our work is based in Jewish values and have an understanding of how the Jewish community works. My name is Rosalind Franklin and I am a coach and consultant. I do life and executive coaching and I also work with boards and uh, other organizations and groups on governance and organizational development. This is a really wonderful uh, project for the Federation. Having um, been involved in the community and having actually been at Federation um, uh, uh, myself, having worked there myself, um, that I think this is something that organizations don't just need money. They need robust support. They need uh, the human resources to get done. It doesn't, you can give them money but if you don't have the knowledge and you, and, and it's not within the system to sort of get the work done, it still doesn't happen in the most effective way and organizations suffer. So I think having uh, well-trained board members that we add through the pro bono work or, you know, adding um, through the structures that Federation sets up is an incredibly valuable piece. Uh, knowledgeable, educated, uh, resource, resourceful, connected board members really can strengthen an organization. So I think on those levels, having this available to the community to go and find um, additional resources I think is very very valuable and a wonderful gift um, that the Federation is doing for the community and working with Alana um, you know it's always interesting when you're working with EDs because you, there's there's levels of openness on you know when somebody's coming in from the outside to help and 
say unpack and sort of look under the hood to see what's working and what isn't. Um, that takes trust. So it's building trust, it's building a relationship and, and having an ED as open, an executive director as open to willing and say, okay, I'm willing to look and it's okay, whatever you find, we'll, we'll deal with it, I think takes tremendous courage. And um, so I'm terribly appreciative because it makes it a whole different experience if you know you can really take it on and not have to be careful about what, what you say or what you see or how you go about it. But somebody's willing to do the work, willing to make the changes, willing to review and assess. I think it's a really valuable uh, piece. So she was really fun and a delight to work with, as with the rest of the board. And the retreat was a, a fun experience, I hope, for all. So it certainly was for me. <laughs>